getting ready to start action in the boys game. Sheboygan North against Sheboygan South. South comes in three and 15, three and 11 in conference, but they're three and six over their last six games, which is quite an improvement. North comes in 11 and seven, eight and six in conference. They won their last two. Uh, we talk a lot about uh, Josh Kovac and his scoring, but let's not forget about Brent Witter. Yeah, you got two, two of the best scores in the whole league here with Witter and Kovac. Should be a lot of fun, so you know what you're getting out of them, Marty. What are we going to get about everybody else? Or, you know, who's going to score and things? That's what's going to be interesting tonight. The last two games we had South, Kovac went off for 36, and I think it was 36. I think we ought to be on the payroll. He should be paying us to come here every week. But uh, like you mentioned, Brent Witter, Witter is actually averaging a little bit better. Govac is at 18-3, Witter's at 19-6. Uh, so uh, it's the defense that's going to make the difference. Right, I think the most important player in the gym tonight is Jackson Damcott, because I got a feeling he's going to be the one responsible for guarding uh, Govac. He's one of the best defenders in the whole league. He's going to be giving Govac a whole bunch of hassles. You know Sheboygan is going to press. And if they're going to press, they're going to try to wear down south, which means that Govic may have to bring the ball up, which over the long part of the game might wear him down. For Brett Witter, you know, he's just started off the season really slow, but we mentioned all year, he's gotten hotter and hotter and hotter. He's up to, like you said, 19 points a game. So he's, in, he's just a tough player. Leads him in rebounding. He's a scrapper and things like that. He does a lot for North besides just scoring. I think one of the things that makes Brent more dangerous because he has more weapons on his side. You know, they got to watch more than just Brent. South, if Kovac's not hitting, it's, it's a tough road to hold. And there's no doubt that everybody in the gym knows that Kovac's got to go off. And he has the last couple of games for over 30 points a game. So, you know what, you know, somebody, Jack Stepcott and other guys are going to stop him. But, you know, Jacob Case is going to have to score. Uh, little bit. Uh, maybe Jones is going to have to score a little bit tonight. Other people are going to have to contribute uh, besides uh, Kovac and we, for them to win the basketball game. Can South afford to go to a zone defense against North to help protect players from being uh, in foul trouble? Well, then you get Schmidt. He's going to start hitting some threes or Damcott's going to hit threes. Uh, Winter, you don't want him to shoot threes. It'll be interesting to see what Coach Risto does is trade him off. You know he's been trying to do some zone a little bit just to protect Trap the rim because they're not very tall, but that means you got to close. And if you close, then they're going to drive. If you drive, you can't foul because South can't afford to get foul trouble either. I you know we've said this time and again, but it's absolutely true. Is this South team that's playing tonight is not the same South no. that played North the first time around. They are a dangerous team. Yeah, they are. And, you know, looking at the schedule, we talked about this the other day. They're in a four game home, and then they, the, you know, I think they have one in a row, however. Coach Risto's looking to finish 5-5 five and five in the league in, in the second half of the season, and that's quite an accomplishment for a basketball team that back in December, you know, couldn't find their way to the basketball court. So a lot of credit to Coach Risto and his staff and the players. You know, I talked to, uh, I think, Josh Kovac the other night, and he said that our guys come to practice hard every day. There's been no quit in our guys, so I think Norse better be ready for this. After that last North-South game, we had a chance to talk with Jeff Risto, and he was real disappointed in the boys that night. He said they didn't play hard like they had been the other games. Since that point, they've been playing hard. Yeah, they are playing hard, playing hard and you know, it'll be interesting to see what happens, what kind of start both teams have. We, you know, we mention it every time here. You know, Aubrey Koistra, who's a good basketball player, mentioned the first two minutes of a North-South game is not the best or prettiest. Let's see if South gets off to a good start. You know, South has those moments where they don't score over long periods of time. They can't afford to do that tonight. They got to play a complete, you know, 36-minute game if they're going to beat North. Wayne Hyden said no break for the announcers. We're playing the whole time through. And those drummers over there are having the best time of anybody in the gym. We're going to step out. We come back with we'll the starting lineups and the tip-off for tonight's basketball game. Everybody has a dream. Mine was to see the ocean. And with a little help, I made it. Hey, going out like
like that? Yeah, why? Well, <laughs> what would the neighbors think? <laughs> Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark. We're just playing. We're just playing. I'm trying to get you out of here. Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. Getting ready to start action. Ladwig and Sokolowski, North controls. Guess who has the ball? Wouldn't you be surprised, Witter. <laughs> South and a man-to-man -man defense, Chris. Feet inside to Sokolowski, not able to handle it, and go back out, hustles him for the ball. Well, the game starts off with a turnover by North, and uh, Aubrey Keister said it best, first two minutes of a North-South game are some of the ugliest basketball you'll ever see. Austin Bolt making the start tonight, Chris. Case on a drive to the hoop, no good. No charging foul. Witter stayed in to uh, take it, but uh, no call, good Savit inside. And they're gonna get him with the travel. Down underneath, making the defensive play was uh, Nick Larson, but uh, gonna referees just, are gonna talk about it. I agree. I think he... Uh, Got rid of it first, yeah. nothing else. I know he didn't want to do that, but uh, that's... What they're gonna stick with. So it had nothing to do with the call, Chris. It had to do with going down to the other end and getting the cheerleaders out of the way. 
There's your trap. And uh, Schmidtke let him get to the baseline and get out of it. And there's our matchup, Damcott on Kovac, Marty. Should be an interesting night watching 21 and three. Sokolowski on uh, Ladwig and Renzelman has Case. Govec's long three is no good. Guess who? And Ladwig with another offensive board. We talked about that over the course of the season. Witter no. has uh, oh. a nice feed inside by Govec. <laughs> for the layup and it was missed and then North can't control it so it's gonna get it right back. Everything's bumbling, stumbling, lumbling for North so far. 16.30 left in the first half, no score. Case with an open three, buries it. There's some of the help. South's gonna need that help from Case, Ladwig, Jones. Good reverse of the ball. Damcott open for a three, couldn't get it. Renzelman saved it, got it over to Damcott, who gave it to Sokolowski for an easy two. Great work by the Raiders. Oh, there's gotta be a, oh my! And a little push by Damcott, but they didn't call that one. North is gonna get it back. Wow. Damcott open again, he's gonna try it. Wouldn't go down Jacob, K uh, Trevor Ladwig with the rebound. Matchup is the one we have out on out in front. That's the one you want to pay attention to. Now it's Renzelman on Govec. He's trying to stay low and tipped away. He's got to let the game Damn come to him. Going, feeds it off to Witter who lays it in. Looks like a travel to me, Chris. Yeah, a lot of unselfishness by North so far, given that extra pass. Go They're all over Govic. Almost had it tipped away, yeah. Good to feed inside. Ladwick with an easy two. Using his strength. 5-4 North South. And surprising in a man-to-man -man here. Well, you said it in the beginning, you know, you've got to be careful about those three-point shots. Fred Witter to Sokolowski for an easy two. Yeah, and I think Coach Risto thinks they can maybe protect the rim a little bit because North's not extremely tall either. Sokolowski is, but. Austin Bolt caught, steps on the uh, mid-court line. Jeff Risto in his uh, Sheboygan South sport coat. Pull that one out of the closet. Well, I, I know Coach Rosowski had that. Yeah. His brother had one like that. Coach Tier, Ken. Schmidtke, no good. Ladwig kept it alive. Salt has it. Good feet inside. Witter tipped it away. Hustle by 24. Brett Witter. Checking in for South number 33, Tony Flower. Tanner Sauer in. Flowers played some great D the other night against Wall Marty. Coming in for South number Jones 33. Jones not starting tonight. That's surprising. He's been pretty effective. It's twice now that South walked themselves into a turnover along a end line or baseline. Austin times in the ball game along with Sowers. Sowers got control of it. Jacob Case has a responsibility for Brent Witter currently. Witter open for just a second, a little bit short. It's off the front of the rim. Larson with the rebound. Damcott trying to stay with uh, Govec. Shot is no good. 
Witter with the board. Witter averaging six boards a game. Schmidtke couldn't wait to get the ball and shoot it, and he nails it. Nine to five. Wolvek got himself into a bit of a jam. Gets it out to Flowers. And a good back cut by Case. Layup is no good, tip is no good. And Sauer with the steal, he's gonna get called. No, they're gonna get uh, Case with the foul. Antoine Jones in the ball game. Hey, that's a pretty good option to have coming off the bench though. But and we're seeing it again. Dessel used to do that. Guy makes a three, pull him out. <laughs> well, uh, one thing Antoine has been doing is turning the ball over a little bit, but he can be a scoring punch. And uh, you, know, you mentioned having him off the bench would be important for Coach Risto. Sawyer so Pottest in the game and nailing another three was uh, Brent Witter. Oh, man. 12-5 North. Five of nine from the floor is North already. Sokolowski in. He got a good break. Times did a nice job out there. Five and a half minutes, Marty Govac, no points. They're riding him hard. And he hasn't come out yet either for a little breather. And neither is Damcott. Those two, I think, are going to be attached at the hip. Hottest. Thought he had a clean block, but uh, Larson's going to be at the line shooting a pair. Well, I think, watch this, Marty. You're going to see the second guy get the foul. I think it was a clean block, but somebody else got their body in here. Watch the drive. Somebody else pokes in there. Hottest with the foul. I'm wrong. <laughs> they gave it to Pottis. <laughs> Mentioned this the other night, Marty, that uh, South had a tough time getting to the free throw line, but the other night they did a much better job of attacking and here getting to the free throw line again. Couple of free throws for Nick Larson. Renzelman back in. Nice feed, Renzelman had a look, but didn't, but passed up the shot. A little penetrating pitch by Sawyer, there it is again. That's a walk. Yeah, that's a, that's a good call. You know, I'm not sure Chase is opposed to shooting a three ball, but uh, he's gotten two open looks off of nice drives by uh, Sauer. Jones driving it down the lane. Shot is no good. Offensive rebound. His shot was blocked. North comes away. Good attack. He's got to finish the, at the rim, Marty. North looking for an opening. It's like uh, nobody wants to shoot the three ball, Chris. Well, Schmidtke, Witter on the bench. Who's going to score? Watch for them to get it to the big fella. Damcott driving inside. Had it stolen away by Flowers. I don't think Sokolowski touched the ball once that trip. He's got to uh, touch the ball. Getting with some scores in now, Chris. Oh, yeah. Coach Worth did not like that trip. Damcott on Govec. Step back, two pointer is no good. Really? And a whistle underneath the basket and a foul on North. Fouls on Sauer. Tanner Sauer commits the foul underneath. Schmidtke and Witter in. And Damcott's out, Marty. Hottest and Damcott out. Coming back in for, uh, or coming in for North is Parker Fogel. He's got flowers right now. 
Brett Witter gets the uh, Golvec draw. Two tough scores. One advantage that uh, Brent would have on the defensive end is that he's a little bit taller. Yep. And but he's a hustler, scrapper. Bovik's going to struggle in. to get the ball here. Ball goes off of, uh, I think it went off of Renzelman's shoulder and south of keep it. Max Marchiando in the ball game. Good thing for South is they're two of 11 shooting, Marty, but they're only down by five. Right, good point. And they, you know, we've talked about their moments of droughts and not scoring. Well, they played eight minutes and they have two baskets. Three Make ball three. by Case is good. He's got two threes, two of the three baskets, and now South only by two. Yeah, they're gonna have to pay attention to him. Vogel has it in the corner. And Damcott ready to check right back in. Whoops. Schmidtke recovers the ball, steps <laughs> back, and puts up a three for three. Off the side of the basket. Schmidtke with his second three. A runner by Goldback, and he scores. Takes the lid off the hoop for him. Schmitke being guarded by uh, Gulbeck. Witter open for just a second, and he nails a three. Cannot let him be open. Well, three. he gets rid of the ball so quick, Chris. Yep. Good point, Marty. Josh Gulbeck has got to be tired. He's played half the half. He even needs maybe a, just a minute blow. Case trying to get free of Renzelman. Schmidtke on Jones. Flowers with a good recovery. North D is smothering. And we get a timeout by uh, South, a 30-second timeout. A good call by Coach Risto. What are you seeing there, Chris? Well, North just starting to turn up the wick, as they say on defense. And I think that's a good timeout. Give Golbeck a little blow here, give him some water. Get his troops refreshed. But uh, four threes for North has really put this game out to a six-point lead. Two threes by uh, Jacob Case for South. You know, we talked uh, in the opening, actually, you know, if Josh Govek is... Uh, going to be contained, which he has been so far. you got to have other people step up, and uh, Jacob has been that so far. It's a good thing. In action earlier, uh, the two North freshman teams uh, beat South, and in JV action this afternoon, North also won that game. So it's been a, and they won the first game. They're Witter, oh, no call, wow. Good Case job. traveled actually to his way to the basket, but they're going to say it was a score and a foul. I like the fact that he went to the basket, Watch Marty. Watch this. Split him. Bumped. Good call. Get to the basket and the rim, something that South the second half of the season has really improved on. We still don't know who the foul was on. Damcott on a reach. It's the third team foul on North. South only has one, even though they're in their man-to-man -man defense. It was not a, I, you know, some people are yelling for on the ground. I disagree. No, oh, After gosh, watching no. the uh, replay yeah, for sure. Right, yeah. No, that was a good call. And back to the free throw line. No oh, good. Score stays uh, 18 to 14 North. Vogel still in there. Nice. Uh, good feed inside to uh, Sokolowski, but he gets fouled before the shot. I think they're gonna get Antoine Jones, or is it Tony Flowers? Bolt. No, Bolt. 
I was close. He, the player <laughs> was the player was wearing white. <laughs> Schmitke off a double screen, wide open, wow. and nails it. That was a pretty play. He's got three threes, Marty. Winner with two. At 15 of their 21. Lars, uh, pardon me, Ladwig inside scores. And it's important for South to always get a hoop after those threes. They got to stay close. Witter, open, couldn't get it. Two South players on the rebound. Ladwig pulled it away. So Chris is going to give him credit. Oh, didn't turn to the basket. Yeah, oh, Flowers on a nice drive. Oh man, was that sweet. I'm telling you, South is getting the support they need. Govek two points, South is 18. Other teammates are stepping up where Josh only has two. North being patient. Witter knew he was going to miss it and uh, hustled in for the rebound, but uh, couldn't get it. He's good from there, Marty. Not a bad shot. Just missed it. Inside feed to Ladwig. His shot oh. bounces off. Sokolowski not able to control it, but Parker Vogel comes away with it. Point blank range for La Ladwig. That's where you want to be. Damn caught from the parking lot. Not a good shot there. He's missed all his threes. He had a travel on uh, South. Boy, that was a quick call. I don't know if they call that on uh, Ladwig. Yep. Okay. Justin the Goldrick in the ball game for the first time. A whole bunch of new guys in the game, Marty. Uh, Sower back in. Oh, uh, good pick and roll. Sokolowski with an easy two. He's made all three. Sawyer on. Go back now. Yeah. Josh had an opening for a long three, but didn't take it. A little bit surprising. And a little too much shake and bake, and he lost the ball. Left the game. Got to call it. Yeah. That's what happens. A bump. If he doesn't fall down, you let it go. Yeah, what are you going to do? <laughs> All right, both teams sitting with uh, three team fouls, Chris. Nobody with more than one. Schmitke off that double screen again, but that time Austin both fought through. Feeling Wide it. open. And another three by the left-hander. Wow. Turnover. Goldrick, no, but North keeps it. Renzelman. Been reluctant to shoot this first half. Big North possession, Marty. Yeah, North, South, pardon me, playing good good defense. Renzelman got it inside. He shot that one up and in. Good timeout here. 30. North opening up a 10-point lead, their largest lead of the half. Another timeout by South. Chris called it. It's a 30-second. I didn't see that last turnover, Chris, but uh, you're right, that possession was a big one. It was able to allow North to bump it up to a 10-point lead. And North shooting over 60% from the floor, Marty. I mean, South's given everything they can on the offensive end, but South, excuse me, North is hitting all those threes, and then that's creating space underneath like it did that time for Renzi. There you see the basket. Five threes in the half, three by Schmidt, two by Witter. 
10 point lead. Hey, let me point something out to you, Chris. Uh, Govek's in there, he's been out. I don't know if he's been out at all, but uh, Schmidtke's had a rest. Uh, Witter is now taking a rest. Uh, Sokolowski had a bit of a rest. And uh, you know that's gonna make a difference later in the game. And there he misses one. And Renzelman with a nice strong rebound in the lane. Well, Goldrick out on top with uh, Sauer. Looks like uh, South is now in a zone defense, Chris. Skip pass, Schmidtke. Wrong side of the court, Chris. He's gotta yep. get over on the other side. That's where they go in. Jones on the hustle. Oh, why do you leave Govek open? <laughs> Rainbow three is no good by Larson. South Senator out, Marty. South Senator out. Yeah, I don't question the three ball by Larson. Nope. He was wide open, but uh, yeah, if you're not making them, that doesn't mean you stop taking them. Schmidtke pulling it out, just under uh, four minutes. Good feed inside to Sokolowski. Swing pass to uh, Renzelman again, passing up to three, but not Sauer. Schmidtke on a tap, no good. Good effort. Yeah, looked a little like Ethan Happ on that one. The ball was blocked by McGoldrick, but they're gonna get a foul on somebody from North, and uh, Govek will be shooting two. Sokolowski, that's his first. Josh Govek is not automatic from the line, but he's approaching that. His uh, free throw percentage is up there. He's up at 70, uh, probably pretty close to 75% now. Twenty-eight to nineteen. Sauer working on Govek. Josh playing tough D. Good shooting half for North Marty. Oh, oh no. boy! A little bit too much reach by Josh. It's his second foul. Can't almost pull him off the floor though, Chris. And the South High Brain Trust is under discussion. <laughs> What are we gonna do with Josh here? Somebody now has gotta step up. You know what happens when we're in discussion up here in the booth? We look at each other. Well, I'm curious now who's gonna bring the ball up, Marty? Well, I don't think that's a problem. It's just, you know, well, oh, I see what you mean. They pulled out uh, Govek. Yeah, they pulled ah, Govek yeah, out and right. Bolts over there. So who's gonna be responsible? Tony Flowers, it looks like, yeah. or Case. Too Run late that to bring clock. a sub in. Yeah, a little bit late. North uh, pulled back on the pressure that time. Sokolowski on the good defense, but oh. Ladwig charging hard for the rebound, couldn't control it. But it was a great effort. Coach Risto wants this game tight yet, going into the second half. Sawyer Pottist in the ball game along with Sokolowski, Schmidtke, Coach Witter. Worth now gonna go for the dagger here. Two minutes with Govek on, oh, they're putting Govek back in. Interesting, interesting. Good ball movement by the Raiders. Witter wide open, Bingo. nails a three. Bingo, baby. Can't let him just roam out there. You got to keep an eye on him. Jones almost surprised by that pass. Traveled twice. Larson inside, couldn't get the bounce. And we get a foul underneath. I think that's going to go on Antoine Jones. Anton committing the foul. 
Well, maybe there is no foul on that. They're just saying it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, there it is. Oh, yeah. It was on Jones. Jones, and that's the 15th foul. We only have uh, two minutes left in the first half. North up by 12. It's her largest lead. Pottis on a good feed to Sokolowski for two. They got the penetrating dish. He's made all four of his hoops, Marty. All four of his shots, you mean? That, too. <laughs> Josh Kovac, just three points, Marty. Two-pointer that time, goes no good. Witter with the board. North looking. Salt again in the man-to-man -man defense. Pot oh Pottis my. with a three. Oh man. South does not need another guy off the north bench hitting threes. Sarah, like a rowboat out here, Marty? Because it's spraying a sleek and the water's been coming in very oh. slowly. Josh Goldback took one right to the nose. It's a slow, slow so leak. Yeah, Sokolowski Two. picks up his second, Chris, and it was a hard one on uh, Josh Gobeck. He's hurt. Move that camera over to center court, Richard. You'll see him grabbing on his nose. Now he comes into our picture. Ooh, probably a good no call. Nothing happened there. Look at him. He's getting. I don't. I Ridden. Don't, I don't agree. Think he they should have called a foul yep, over? Yeah, he was undercut. Good double team defense by Witter. Help out inside on Ladwig. Govex's three is rims off. And good block on. We got a throw down, and the referee doesn't call a thing. He saw it right in front of him. How can you not call something? The North player is still down. My goodness, that's got to be called. And they still don't blow a whistle. That's a bad refereeing job by that man Especially down there. Especially since North had the ball, Marty. He took him and just threw him down. Out of control. Bad job of refereeing. We don't say that much up here, but that's not good refereeing. Bad no call and then a no call, not stopping action. It's just a kid. It's just a game. The minute he went down, there should have been a call, especially since you had the ball. Yeah, that was a miss, Marty. Hopefully, uh He's going to be okay. Well, it didn't make any sense to then blow the whistle when South had the ball once they got the rebound. Is that Sokolowski that's down? Um, no. Austin Tynes. Boy, Austin took a hard shot. Yep. Coach Worth is not happy. Ties is the one that got uh, put a mat on the floor. We'll do some wrestling. Coach Worth is not happy. That was, I don't blame him. I, and I agree with you, Marty. In that situation, you stop play. It happened right in front of you. You know, the referee was right there. He saw it all happen. He saw it all come down. And uh, like I said, they didn't call the one where Govek almost gets undercut, then someone gets whacked here. Let's see how the uh, rest of the boys handle this. And it's, it is no more shenanigans. It is South ball, though. That is, that's the right call. And that's what Coach Worth doesn't understand either. 
Why are you calling timeout when our guy's on the ground? Uh, here you gotta be careful, Chris. Where the, where the uh, trainer's wiping off the floor, the coach, it, that can get awfully slippery there. Well, fortunately we only have eight seconds left, party. Yeah, it's too bad they have to come down to this end. That, that can be slippery after you spray that stuff on there, that disinfectant. Well, as I mentioned before, getting back to the game, it's been a slow leak. And uh, North just slowly, been slowly moving ahead. And now the game is 17 point lead. It was a 13 to one run, Chris. Yep. It was 23 to 18. Yep. Now it's 36 to 19. Yep, and it just slowed too. It was, wasn't was a quick, you know, like when Coach says to tell his team, there was some quick things and boom. There better not be anybody near and there's gonna be a call. At the buzzer, Josh Govek's shot is off again and uh, entertaining first half. But as we go into uh, halftime, it's North 36, South 19.
Getting closer to nature can get you closer to your family. Go to discovertheforest.org. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just... They told me a bottle couldn't dream. That I would never become a superhero. But I learned how to fly. Just to come back in a new disguise. And be the hero that I've always wanted to be. We're back. We're back at South High School where uh, we're getting ready to start second half action. Uh, North on top, 36 to 19. Before we get into the statistics of the game, let's talk a little bit about that play at the very end. Uh, it looked pretty violent on the uh, crash that the North High player took. What we're not sure of, and we can't tell from way out here, the official actually has a better shot at it, is what was the intent. Uh, but going back to your point, once it happened, a whistle should have stopped play so they could attend it to the player. Yeah, I, was, I was sick of it as the fact that they're just kids. You know, I understand it's an intense game, big game, but they're kids. And uh, if someone's severely hurt there to let that go, it's not like college or professional or anything like that. Not a good situation. And uh, on the floor is Austin Ties. So uh, got a little wrap around his head, but uh, he'll be okay. Uh, Chris was a little more concerned after that fall. How was the floor? And the floor seemed to have taken it pretty yeah, well. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, well, there's some time off. That now, was so a joke, man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, leading scorers in the first half, Schmidtke with 12, Witter with 11, Sokolowski with 8. Uh, for uh, South, Jacob Case had 8. Uh, the surprise was Govek with only three. Chris, what do you got? Yeah, that's exactly right, Marty. Josh Govek, one of six from the floor. Jackson Davkot, I told you, MVP of the game in the opening. 29% shooting for South, seven for 24 shooting. You gotta shoot much better. North was at 60% for a while. They finished 54%, 14 of 60. Better than that, they, they hit eight threes in the first half, eight. And no free throws. Yeah. South well, made three of five, had two threes, but uh, North never went to the line. Yeah, well, they attempted 26 shots, North did, and 18 of them were from outside the arc. Good block out by Ladwig, but the ball went to Witter, and he gives it over to Renzelman, who gets fouled, and we will have North's first free throws of the night. And more importantly, 20 seconds. Kovac gets his third. Oh, no. You got to just let that go, Josh. You're too valuable. You got to know that. Renzi had two points in the first half. Free throws have been an adventure for Chase on the season. Jacob Case with the rebound. Showing a little strength there, hanging on to the ball. Yeah. 
Oh, pass into the first row, trying to get it over to Govek. Damcott playing the real tight defense. Eighth turnover on South. South uh, in a zone, Chris. Trying to uh, protect on the foul situation. Uh, didn't work on that first fast break by North. Well, I, well. Witter on the catch and shoot, couldn't get it. Got his own rebound though. Takes it hard to the basket and scores. Which, yeah, Jacob Case left his feet trying to block a shot. You're not gonna block a shot from that far away. There's a Another turnover. turnover. Renzelman taking the three ball, no good. And Jacob Case got to do a better job on that previous play of keeping, you know, get a hand up, but you can't run past him because that's what happened. Witter just went for the offensive rebound, got the easy basket. Ladwig on a drive to the basket, scores. Nice drive. Trevor Ladwig picking up his fourth point. I was Coach Worth, I'd have my guys out just like this. You wanna play the zone? We're up by 17 points. We are in no hurry. I may need to make a correction. Ladwig has six points now. Schmidtke stays hot with a three. He's five of seven from three. 20 point lead now for North. Damcott staying in front of Govek. Schmidtke had, uh, uh, pardon me, Sokolowski had good pressure on Josh Govek's shot, but he buried it. Well, that's a start. He's got to make a lot of hay to bring South back. And South quickly goes back to man-to-man, -man, Marty. Inside feed to Damcott. He fouled, but I think that's going to go on uh, Nick Larson. Damcott failed to score in the first half, but uh, it's not his scoring that made the big difference. It was his defense. Yep. Cheating. So that second one does not count. This is a violation. Oh, breakaway for Case over to Ladwig. Reverse layup. He got the bounce. Oh, Witter on a sweet drive to the hoop, and he scores and is fouled. Good news is. South is three of four in the quarter, shooting. Bad news is, South North's getting more baskets. Yeah. Getting farther ahead. Witter's free throw is good. Lead gets bumped back up to 20. Ladwig with a rare three ball misses. Chase, rent, uh, uh -oh. Almost had it tipped away. Uh -oh. Schmidtke again. He's feeling it. And a timeout by South. Oh, man. What are you going to do, Chris? I mean, what can you do? Well, don't let him shoot threes. <laughs> He's got six of them. And now the damage is done. It's too late now. You're 23 points down. You know, you, you tried the zone, but... Schmidtke and, uh, and Witter can hit threes. You said that in the opening. If you play a zone, they're going to hit threes. I think you said that. No, you did. Oh, maybe one of us. <laughs> we did mention it, that's for sure. Well, that was a whole hour ago, Marty. We can't remember everything. Our next game? Yeah, North, well, let's go. North plays on Tuesday, February 13th against Notre Dame. That'll be in Sheboygan. And then uh, South is also in town. Another classic job of scheduling by the conference. They're going to play the pier. Our next game will be uh, Friday, February 16th, when Green Bay Southwest 
comes uh, to Sheboygan to play North. North comes in fifth in the league, Marty. Bayport 13 and two, Pulaski's 12 and three, Notre Dame 11-4, Southwest is 11-4. North, the three teams that are right in front of them, they play. And those are, uh, are on their, their target. They have them all uh, in Sheboygan, Notre Dame, Pulaski, and Southwest. So North would like to finish a little stronger than uh, fifth in the league, and they have an opportunity. They can uh, take care of their home court and beat some of those teams. Damcott trying to uh, direct Govek to the baseline because he knows he's going to get help. He goes that way, and Josh recognizes that and tries to push it back out to the side. What I noticed that last time, Chris, with uh, Jackson Damcott is he's not only got quick feet, he's got really quick hands. He tips the ball away a lot. And that's kind of where uh, Josh Govac makes his living. Witter with an easy steal. And wow. Govac with great defense to prevent an easy score. That's almost automatic. Yeah, Hardy. Ladwig traveled prior to, but had it stolen away by Damcott again. Showing the quick hands. Sokolowski inside and scores. You said he's letter perfect tonight on that? You are right on. And it's 25. They've doubled up. Yep. Behind the back pass by Casey. He scores and he's fouled. Nice pass by Josh Govek. And that was sweet. Yeah. Pretty empty house today, Marty. Lots of open seats here tonight. Yeah, on the ends as usual. And uh, the bleachers where the band sits is mostly empty. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. But uh, I will say this, that, I mean, pretty, not the. Uh, We'd like it more full. Oh, there's a lot of open areas on both sides of the uh, adult sections. Student sections are full. A oh, nice cut by Witter and Sokolowski found him for an easy two. And it's really gotten away from the Southsiders, Chris. Yep. Well, as I said, it's just like a slow leak in your boat. I mean, they, they started off just slowly. But Sokolowski's uh, something wrong with him. He's, he's mad at somebody. Chase Renzelman or uh, Max Schmidtke pushing him away. I'm not sure what went on out there. North looking for the pick and roll with uh, Sokolowski, but uh, he was covered up nicely by the Red Wings. Quick feed inside to Jackson Damcott. His turn jumper is in. First basket of the game and another turnover. Boy scrambling on the floor for it. Five turnovers in the first five minutes for South doesn't help the situation. And, uh, there's a lot of stuff going on out there, Marty. Yeah, Austin ties. You can see him in there. He's got his head wrapped. I think he got a cut. They pull out Sokolowski to cool him off. And now uh, worth talking to the officials, trying to get things squared away. Eric not happy. And Jeff Risto coming over saying, what in the world are you doing? No, How about talking to me? he wanted a timeout. He asked it about six times, and he wouldn't get it. That's going to go on Jacob Case. No. Well, let's see what they're going to call here. It looked like uh, Case ran over the screener. Yes, he did. For Jacob, that's his second. Now we get the timeout by South. They asked for it before. Full timeout, Scott. So with 12.59 left, North up by 27. We'll be right back. Okay, so what would you bring to my company? What do you need? I need problem-solving skills. I got through high school without a car, a phone, or a computer. No college degree, though. Not yet, but life's taught me a lot, and I'm ready for more. Well, you're not the typical kind of candidate that I hire. But you are exactly what I'm looking for. 
your company could be missing out on the candidates it needs most. Learn how to find a great pool of untapped talent at grads. Now Chris mentioned in the first half the slow leak starting and it was uh, what that it was a result of was a uh, 13 to 1 run to finish out the half. It went from uh, 21 to 18 north on top by only three to a uh, 17 point lead at 36 to 19 and it's only continued here in the second half. North building on that lead. Marciando, Golvec, Case, Nelson, and Flowers in the ball game. Kick over to Schmidtke. Uh -oh. Look out! He got. He has another one. Oh man, that is unbelievable. Seven threes, Marty. Seven of them. Count them. Golvec from way outside the three-point line couldn't get it in. Ties with the. Uh, Rebound, driving to the basket. He gets called for an offensive foul. <laughs> Austin can't catch a break. Actually, that's a good call. Good. Although, in the Big Ten, they would say you're too deep and they'd, they'd give the guy the offense or the defensive foul. Damn caught hustling. Cut off uh, Golvec. Marciando with a three. Oh, baby, Max, look at this. And the left-hander buries another one. South in the man-to-man -man defense. Renzelman trying to find an opening. Ties. Good ball uh -oh. movement. Look out, Schmidtke. No good. Renzelman couldn't get it in, and it's tapped out by North. Oh, Schmidtke misses a three and right away to the bench. <laughs> Coach Worth is tough. Well, they got a double team. Govec, smart move, threw it off a Witter. Well, we've been beating this dead horse, Marty, but uh, Josh Govec been going off for 30 points tonight. Just five with 11.30 left. Now the game is basically out of reach. Uh, yeah, Ladwig got a nice turn, but couldn't get it in. I think we went off the payroll too, by the way. Hottest with a three again. And two players go down. Let's see what that call is. I have 12 threes now for North. And it looks like there's a cramp or something for Jackson. I think he's putting his shoe back on. Or he's putting his shoe back on. McGoldrick in the ball game. That will call, you know. For Damcott. You're slowing down our break and our, fa our pressing, Coach yeah. Chesitel would used to say. Get up, we gotta get going. Gotta wear these guys down. 20 flowers. Nice pass to Lar Larson, but he had it tipped away, and there's going to be a foul called on uh, Sauer. He's got to shoot that, Marty. I don't care if you sit there and want a ball fake, but you're, you're one foot from the basket. Take a shot. Oh, they're going to get Sauer with another foul, but I'll tell you, he got all ball. As when uh, I think it was Larson turned, he turned right into Sauer and he tipped the ball away. Tony Flowers drives and scores. Another nice driving basket for Flowers. Yeah, he's made both his. Uh, 
Hottest open, but uh, didn't have his feet set for the shot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Brooks Walters in. Parker Fogel in. Case Ladwig, Anton Jones, Flowers, and uh, Josh Govek in for South. Jones just checking in. Rolling down to the 10 minute mark of the second half. Witter is going to get called for the uh, foul. Not that for being his first. He's got 18 points, Marty. And I mean, Schmitke's got all the threes and all that, but Witter's right there at his average. Govek, no breaks for Josh tonight. Tony Flowers, he's got the break, so he rolls in another one. I have Josh Govek at two for 11 from the floor. He's had a tough night. He's had a couple that, uh, you know, could have went in, they just didn't. Pottist, couldn't get it. Walters with the good hustle. Feet underneath the Witter for an easy two. Brooks with a nice play. Another steal. And Ladwig is going to get called for a bump on Pottist. North shooting 50% in the second half. 52% in the game. Schmitke and Sokolowski back in. For uh, Jacob, that's his third foul. Witter drives to the basket and scores. What a move. They're not going to stop him. There he goes. Look at this. Nice Oof. replay, Scott. Case. Couldn't score. Sokolowski tipped it over to Case, but he was standing on the baseline out of bounds, so North will get it. There you see it. No, he wasn't. Oh, well. You might be right. <laughs> Time out on the floor. Full timeout, Scott. 8.51 left, north on top. Todd's a great guy. I mean... Look at him. What a sweetheart. Attaboy. Wait, Todd, what are you doing? How totally selfish and untod like of you. Come on, Todd. Come on, man. That entire time out was spent with Eric Worth talking to the official. And, uh, you know, we've talked, I've said a couple times, you know, eh, no call, you know, nothing happened. But maybe over the course of a game, you keep doing the new call, no call business, you know, it piles up and you get some hard feelings out there. Yep. As you mentioned, there's something going on out there. Yeah. And normally, North South games, you know, it's more about the students and stuff like that. The players understand and know it's a big game, but there's a lot of respect out there. But tonight's been a little more physical than normal. And part of it, I think, is on the officials, what you said. Coach Benninghouse, by the way, was talking to the troops the whole while Eric Worth was talking to the official.
There's that help on the baseline, and again, Goldback not able to make the basket. Oh, Witter with a turnover, rare for him. Jones, hard to the hoop, couldn't get it. Throw over the back. And a fight for the rebound between Ladwig yeah. and Sokolowski. And again, there should have probably been an over the back, Marty. A lot of contact there. <laughs> Referee stepping in, talking to well, uh, the you boys. Guys, I mean, the officials have let this go that it becomes, I mean, never mind. Hallie Tooney over here isn't even happy with the officiating. Well, it's just getting away. It's getting too physical, and then the kids don't know what's what. Jones looking for an opening, gets it over to Flowers. Goldbeck is having a hard time just getting free from Damcott. His fadeaway is no good. Brooks Walters with the rebound. Guess who? Kick. Oh, get Schmidtke out of there. He can't make a basket anymore. I know, he's missed his last two. Ladwig hard. Sokolowski commits the foul, however. And <laughs> Sokolowski was not going to let Ladwig score, at least not without a foul happening. I mean, Case. Jacob Case shoots. Jacob Case. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, Steve's taking a couple shots tonight. <laughs> There's a good shot at Jacob. Nate Free was on that camera, but uh, Jason Lee is back in there. Oh, and a miss by Jacob. Thought it was going to be a two shot foul. Walter's still in there getting extended time. Oh, he's earned it. Couple of big rebounds. Nice pass. Yeah, he did have that dandy to uh, Steve Sokolowski, didn't he? Rolling down to the seven minute mark. Renzelman going hard to the hoop. Had his shot blocked, and they're saying it's out of bounds off of uh, Chase. South will get it. Good decision to drive to the basket, though. Just a sophomore. Jacob Case, they get out of the way for him, boy. <laughs> He's at the 10 to 5. Touchdown. Hey, did Jacob Case make one of his two free throws? Did I just miss him? Yep. Okay, so he made the first one. All right. Renzelman with a nice drive and a score. Five new Raiders in. Sauer, Fogel, Witter, Ties, the Goldrick. I don't know if I'd have Witter out there anymore. Flowers, Case, Kovac, Ladwig, and Larson in the game for South, their starters for the most part, and another miss, holy cow. How bad can it be? Five points. Only two here in the second half. Oh boy. <laughs> I thought that one touched the line. <laughs> Play on, gentlemen. Six minutes. North's gonna move to nine and six in the league, 12 and seven overall. South has some winnable games up ahead. De Pierre, Ashwabadon. Sower had an opening, passed it up. Running the offense, 
Looking for a back cut opening. In the first half, that ball would have been out of Witter's hands before he could say hello. What time did this possession start? Seven minutes? Huh? <laughs> We're down to under five. And I like this. Sauer loading it up, no good. And tipped out of bounds. I like the fact that they run clock by running their offense. You don't have to shoot. Too long, Boo coming in. And Tommy Rainitz. Maybe not. Who are you bringing in? We got six guys. Witter's got to come out. Michael Rainitz, not yeah. Tom. Probably we like that name better Ronnie anyway. England will be coming in shortly. <laughs> and then I don't know who 53 is, Marty. Oh, yeah, Mike! Oh, yeah, Mike! 50, Mike! Rainitz draws uh, Golbeck. Vogel has it on top. Three ball is no good. And a steal by Too Long Wu. Nice pass. Rainitz couldn't get the shot off. And Fogel passes it out of bounds. Austin Belt comes in for uh, Josh Govek. Govek had a very tough night, Chris. Two of 13. Well, not just that, too. You know, he had some chances at the free throw line. I think he converted maybe like one out of three free throws on the night. He hits his average. It's close game. Of, of the last couple of games. Where Another he's been steal over by Too Long Vu. And Rainitz for the score. Michael taking it hard to the rack. Look at this. The student yeah. section appreciates Case. that effort. Bango. Where has he been? Jacob, I have him six of 12. Jacob Case with 16 points tonight. Tristan McGoldrick is gonna be at the line shooting. Interesting game, Marty, <laughs> tonight, that's for sure. This is only free throws six and seven on the night for uh, North. They've uh, hit three so far. The Goldrick in the book with a point. Preston Meyer, number two in the ball game for the Red Wings. Preston, a 6'4 senior. Case will be at the line, shooting again. Had a one for two trip just before. England in the game. Joseph Furman's 53, Marty. Okay. Couple of free throws for. Uh, I think uh, Case had 18 points, Chris. Yep. He was a helper. Vu, 
Kick out to Fogel. He's wide open. The left-hander couldn't get it. Archiando in the game. Nailed a three a little earlier. Larson, rainbow threes, got it. And officials calling the coaches over, I believe, Chris. No, they just trying to get substitutes in. Okay. Get two uh, guys in. Good call by Coach Risto. Luciano in. Hunter Keister in. Three ball is no good. Vu oh. gets taken down by Cam Meyer. I'm gonna see it. Nothing to this game, Chris. Yep. It's been a spark. Senior. Yeah, he's had a nice uh, run these uh, last few minutes. The entire bench is up cheering for him. Yeah, North pushes, uh, that pushes North up over 70 points now. Very similar score to the last one. Who is going to get called for the foul. Oh. I think, maybe not. Oh, they're going to tell him you can go back to the line. Floyd picking up the foul. foul. You know, I wouldn't have been surprised if uh, too long would have picked up the foul because he really used his body well to uh, shield off Dante from the ball. Marchiando with the steal and then <laughs> almost stealing it right back was North. Who did we say 53 Joseph was? Joseph Furman. Joseph Furman. Eat inside. Floyd, Dante Floyd gets fouled on his way to the basket. You know, Chris, it's getting pretty rough out there. I'm glad we're up here. <laughs> At least I'm glad I'm up here. <laughs> Dante living right. Even he shrugged his shoulders when it went in. Better, and it doesn't go. Over the back by Preston Meyer. Furman's going to be shooting some free throws. And he should be shooting two, Chris, or at 10 fouls. He's ticked off about eight seconds in the last three up and downs. You know, if it keeps going this slow, Chris, we're going to use up all your uh, interview time. <laughs> It's almost with a steal on Cam Meyer, Marchiando looking inside. Shoot. Oh, what are you waiting for? On Hunter, shoot that, you're wide open. Meyer on a drive, lost it. England had it, he drives to the basket but couldn't roll it in.
Floyd going hard to the hoop and scores. Dante with a basket. Whoops. And North loses it again. Floyd looking for an opening. Toulon Boo couldn't save it. Good anticipation though. Good hustle. Jake Marver in the ball game for Marchiando. Right in and Marver. shooting, Marty. Hey, that's my kind of guy. <laughs> wow, where have you been, Jake? Oh, just wouldn't go down for Rainitz. Floyd, 12-footer from the side is no good. Forty seconds left. Chris is going to go down. Got a couple of the kids to interview. Shot from the side is no good. North gets the rebound. Bobby England, and then he gets fouled. He'll be at the line shooting. Chance for another Raider to get in the book. Scoring points. The reserves have been uh, pretty solid at the line. Making six of eight. Shot from 10 is up and good by Hunter Keister. And that's the ball game. North wins it 75 to 50. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. Perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. There's one thing you can never have sex without. It's consent. Because sex without it isn't sex. It's rape. It's on us to stop sexual assault. Learn how and take the pledge at itsonus.org. You make me wear my bike helmet. You taught me never to run with scissors. You tell me to stay away from drugs to always buckle my seatbelt. And to follow the swimming rules. You're always looking out for me and trying to keep me safe. So why do you keep a loaded gun in your drawer? Here in the garage. Closet. Show box under the bed. Where anyone can get to it. How safe is that? How safe is that? How safe is that? You ask them to follow some safety rules. Now they're asking you. In fact, they're counting on you. Never let your gun get into the wrong hands. If you own a firearm and are not using it, please be responsible and be sure that it's stored in a safe place. Remember, always lock it up. For more information on firearm storage safety, visit ncpc.org. Listen to me. I am captain of the track team. And, and if I'm late, she doesn't I'm really think she's going to get out of here, does she? Captain. Be nice. She's new. Hello, is anyone there? Ugh! Wow. Even from our standards, you look awful. Oh, sweetie, what happened? Me? 
My friend Becky got to talk to this super cute boy, and I tried to act like I wasn't jealous, but I so totally was. And then out of nowhere, this concrete barrier just popped up. Maybe it was a semi. You mean you were driving? Well, yeah. I mean, I know the whole eyes on the road thing, but this was a super important text. Maybe you have to know, Becky. You're texting? Great. But I, it was only like five seconds, and I'm a really, really fast texter, so it wasn't even a big deal. Actually, has she texted me back yet? Wow, I get like no bars in this place. I wonder if they have Wi Fi here. Nourishes, brings us together, and adds flavor to life. That's why it's important to wash hands, surfaces, and fresh produce. Keep raw meat, poultry, and seafood separate from ready to eat foods like fruits and vegetables. And cook to proper temperatures using a food thermometer. Enjoy! and refrigerate leftovers within two hours. For more tips on safely preparing foods, visit homefoodsafety.org. All right, we're back here with two uh, Victoria's Raiders. Jackson, we'll start with you. I said at the beginning of the game, sorry, you're gonna be the most valuable player of the game, most important player. What was your thoughts when you had to know that you were going to guard Josh Govek, who's hit 30 points over the last couple nights. Um, I knew that I'd stay in front of him no matter what, and we did not want the ball in his hands. So when he got rid of it, I didn't let him get it back, and it worked. He only had five points. And in general, what was the team concept on defense tonight for the Raiders against South? Um, we had to plug gaps early so they had no more driving lanes, and then help side was definitely a key because once they drive, we just got to be there for each other. Right, and you know, I, you know, we said it all year, you guys aren't the tallest team, but so everybody has to rebound too, and you kept them off the boards as well. Yeah, you know, we just play with a lot of heart. We give it everything we got, because we're not the biggest team, we're not the strongest, but we leave everything on the floor. Yeah, and I can see with your press too, uh, you know, creating turnovers, makes for easy baskets and things like that, and you know, that helps too. Yeah, it definitely helps. I mean, turnovers are key, because if you can get turnover points, it just kills the other team's like entire momentum too. What do you think of these North-South games? They're amazing. There's nothing like it. Like, you can never get this moment back in your life. You can never recreate it. Well, congratulations. Good luck to us. We were going to see you on Friday. Uh, I'll tell you what, it, I kind of said it was for, for uh, your game tonight, it was kind of like a, a boat slowly leaking. Slowly but surely, you pulled away, pulled away, pulled away, 17-point lead, then exaggerated. But again, a uh, good offensive effort by you guys. Yeah, definitely. That was one of our biggest uh, goals coming out. We really wanted to get off to a quick start. Um, back at North, we got off to a 16 nothing lead, and we felt that if we could recreate that intensity, we would be in good shape on a road game. And hitting 12 threes on the road, too. Yeah, that's big. I mean, we shouldn't live by the three, but it's definitely one of our strengths. You know, we got Steve, you know, he can go in and out, get those kickouts, and we got a lot of guys that can shoot it from deep. Yeah, and that's a good point. You guys hit the threes, and then for Steve, he, I think he was perfect on the oh, night, yeah. too. And I think because you hit the threes, it creates opens underneath. Yeah, definitely. We try to try to look for him so he can create something for himself, but also, you know, how, how effective he is. He really creates stuff for the rest of the team as well. And we talked about this before. You ate what today? So every game now, you're going to have to eat what so you can hit seven, eight threes? <laughs> I had a wrap from Quick Trip <laughs> and a Snickers bar. <laughs> it's all about routine. It's all about routine. Now, you guys have been kind of on a roll. You got some teams that are right above you remaining left that I'm sure you're looking on the schedule. Hey, we beat this team, this team, team. What can this team do the last couple weeks of the season before the tournament? Yeah, I mean, it's really up to us. You know, we got to work as hard as we can. Um, we got a big week coming up next week with Notre Dame and Southwest. Um, you know, get two big wins there, help us in the seeding meeting for regionals come the playoff time. Now, I'll mention the same question. Now, what do you think of these North-South games? <laughs> There's nothing like it. I've been waiting to play in a game like this since I was three years old, and it's there's nothing like it. I mean, coming out to all this, these fans and the packed house, there's nothing like it. Well, congratulations, gentlemen. Uh, good luck on Tuesday. We'll see you guys on Friday night. With that, we're going to send it back to Marty. Sheboygan North, the winner, 75-50. to 50. Leading scorers first for South. Jacob Case had 18 points. He had a real nice night, played very hard. 
Had eight in the first half, 10 in the second. He was a dynamo guy out there for the Red Wings. Trevor Ladwig had eight. Tony Flowers had six. And uh, the big gun for uh, Sheboygan South just couldn't get on track tonight. Uh, he owned Josh Govek only with five points. For North, they were led by the dynamic duel of uh, Brent Witter with 22 and Max Schmidtke with uh, 21. He had seven threes and he was uh, on fire throughout the game. Steve Sokolowski also had double digits uh, in scoring. He had 10 points along with a good job underneath the boards uh, rebounding. North uh, finished with 12 threes and uh, that was part of the difference tonight. North now has a record of 12 and seven overall, nine and six in conference. Uh, Sheboygan South is three and 16, three and 12 in conference. Uh, next game for North is uh, at home against Notre Dame on Tuesday next week. And South is also at home next week on Tuesday when they play uh, De Pere. Uh, our next game is gonna be uh, February 16th. That's next Friday when Green Bay Southwest comes to North to play that game. Uh, our record now on the season is 11 and five. Uh, and lastly, let's talk about the crew. I want to thank uh, Jason Lee, Nate Free, Isaiah Stengel, and Serenity Weebler, uh, students at South, for helping out. Richard Bartson on top, our uh, key guy up here keeping us in line. And of course, our uh, director, uh, Scott Mayla, fine job by him. I want to just do one more shout out for the Brian Summersberger and his uh, drum line. Uh, they were excellent at halftime, put on quite a show. If you haven't been to a South game, when the drum line is here, uh, you're missing it, people. One more time, North the winner, 75 to 50. With that, uh, for the crew, thanks for their work, and thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.